Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to teach you guys how to reverse on the blind. Now, nobody will do this, okay? If we have to go this way, people balk at doing that. They don't want to do it. They've tried it once before and they can't see where they're going, so they won't do it. They'll even get to a site where they'll call a dispatch and say, I'll have to bring this freight back to the yard and be delivered in a HR truck or a rigid because I can't see where I'm going. It's on the blind. Well, you can reverse on the blind, and the first thing we're going to do today is teach you how to reverse on the blind. So this is what we do. We Today we're going to go to a industrial estate, and we're going to start learning how to do things with the semi-trailer by using aids. You know, any aids is better than none, okay? So we're going to start using aids. So what we're, the first thing we're going to do is find a, a left-hand corner. So we found this left-hand corner, and this corner is, we're going to go around here. This corner here is the same as every other corner in the state or the, or the country, and you might as well say it's a 90 degrees, okay? That's our first aid, put that in your brain, this is 90 degrees, okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to drive halfway around the corner or the peak of our turn so we don't turn anymore and we're going to check to see what we can find. Now most HR drivers will want to turn here on their line but you've got to remember now you've got a long trail behind you so you can't do that anymore. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep driving past this corner until such time as the wheels on the back can get around. So we keep driving past the corner until such time as the wheels can clear the corner so we don't pull the, the signs and things down on the corner. Okay, so we're going to keep turning around, keep turning around, keep turning around until such time as we're not turning anymore. In fact, you know when you're not turning anymore or the peak of your turn because if I go any further forward, it's going to start straightening up. See that? Okay, let's look at, uh, see what we can see here. The first thing I notice is that uh, there's a power, um, there's a light, a light pole, pole right next to a cap. There's a light pole there. If I look at my right mirror, I can't see anything. If I look at my left mirror, big mirror, I can only see halfway down the trailer. And don't think that you can move the mirror out electronically because you can't see here. But looking in the little mirror, I can see that these three wheels here, the middle one is right on the outside of the curve of that corner. So that's another aid. Okay, keep looking at the little mirror. And underneath um, the, the, the prime mover here, underneath this trailer, you will see about two inches of the guards. It, it, as the, as the, and whatever color the guards are, you can just make that out, okay? For looking further underneath the trailer, you can see a trailer leg hanging down here. And the trailer leg appears to be about 16 inches from the guard. Now, think about this. We've just come around a 90 degree corner at 16 inches of measurement of angle to get around. So obviously, if we were going to reverse back around the corner, and we reversed up the road until when we aim these wheels around the corner until we're getting to the middle uh, axle, okay, the middle axle there. We get back so far that here's the light pole here in line with the cab, and I'll look underneath the trailer and I've got to get that leg to be 16 inches from the go. Now if it's 24 inches, it's too much and you're going to cut the trailer around too, too fast. If it's only eight inches, it's going to go across the road. This is exactly the angle that we drove around the corner, and if I set that in the little mirror to 16 inches of measurement of angle, I can then reverse back around the corner in exactly the same wheel tracks as I came around. Okay. Cool? Okay. That's what we do. Okay. If we can do that, let's put it into some sort of practice, right? Because we've got to prove this. This is uh, Robinson Road, G-Bung, you know it? Yeah. Pretty busy road. 
In fact, it's so busy, 24-7, it's got trucks and cars everywhere. There's all this traffic here. We've been told to go to Robinson Road, Jeebung and find the milk factory. Here's the milk factory here. We've been also told to the next driveway to the milk factory is a three metre wide concrete driveway and it's, an, it's a, an entrance to a hatchet block and there's a factory down there that we need to load in. They've already told us that we can't um, drive in because we can't turn around. So we're just checking this out. And so here we go, we've got this three metre concrete driveway here and we know we've got to get in there. So what's the best way of getting in? Well obviously I've got two options. The first option would be to drive up this way and turn into a conveniently located driveway and then reverse straight back in. Unfortunately we don't have any conveniently located driveways because we've got wall to wall traffic. My second option would be to drive the same way and drive past where I want to back into and where I can see and reverse in this way and where I can see the whole way. Unfortunately I can't do that either because I've got a concrete infilled island here which is nine, nine inches of kerb with a giveaway sign on that says um, yeah, giveaway. So obviously I can't drive my prime mover up onto that concrete to, to reverse in there. So my only option now is to reverse in on the blind. So what we're going to do is we're going to reverse in on the blind using some aids. Okay, so we drive down the street next to the kerb and we look at these two fences one fence, fence there, it goes all the way down the road, and a fence here. We can see this here is the same as any other corner, it's 90 degrees. Okay, before we go, go past this fence here, the first one we come to, we're going to transpose that fence over to the other side of our truck. It's in dead in line with a lolly wrap of the sin on the road. That's another aid, okay? Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drive up. We've transposed that fence to there. And we're going to keep <coughs> driving up until we get our first axle next to the lolly wrapper. Could be any mark. Could be a piece of broken card, a yeah. black piece of bitumen, whatever. First axle <coughs> up to the marker. Then we're going to turn 45 degrees across the road. When you turn 45 degrees across the road, we can't go any further because the traffic here. Would you believe this is magic because it doesn't matter what sort of trail you've got, long or short, if you turn 45 degrees using that theory, turning from that mark, you will always be facing this corner. Yeah. It's magic. So I can do this. So what I do immediately, as soon as I can see that, I start reversing back and I know that that's a 90 degree corner so what I need to here is 16 inches of measurement of angle between the guard and the leg. So I'm going to start turning back. And as I'm coming around, I'm getting to that mark and I can reverse straight back around here. Now, how do I, how do I know when I'm straight? Because I could go straight through that fence there, or, but I want to go straight up there. So how do I know when I get there? Well, there is no way, there was no way of telling because I can't see. One way. Keep driving backwards and have a look at the front of this trailer. And this front of this trailer will eventually be 90 degrees from this traffic. See that? It's when it gets to 90 degrees of the traffic, all you need to do is turn left turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, and you've just reversed into a 90, um, uh, the blind corner, blind reverse corner, with no problems at all. Now unfortunately, it's gonna take you two years to learn to do that. The reason for that is because you're scared, because you can't see anything. So what we want you to do is um, <coughs> drive down, transpose the fence, the first fence you come to, yep, I've got the mark, now I'm going to drive my first axle down to that mark, and I'm going to now turn 45 degrees across the road. Turn 
45 degrees across the road. I'm obviously going to be facing here, but I'm going to get out in the hall because you're only just learning, okay? Now you're going to reverse back up, and as you reverse back up and around the corner, you know that you're going to put this at 16 inches of angle. So what you do is you reverse up to about halfway around and get out and have another look. And then you go reverse, keep further further until this gets to be 90 degrees. Get out and have another look. And the reason you get out and have a look because you don't trust, because you, don't, you can't see anything, and you need to know if there's anybody there. This is really weird because half you've done this six times over the next two years, you're going to say, hang on, every time I've done this, it's been exactly the same. Because this is really like mathematics. If you do everything by your aids, you can't go wrong. So you've just learned now, and after six times over the last two years, now you decide, I'm not going to look for that. <laughs> and then you've got it. Okay? <coughs> All right. Well, that's one thing that you're going to go home today, be able to reverse around a blind corner. And sometimes you'll go to a yard and you'll be the only person that can do it because no one's ever shown you how to do it before on AIDS. Now, a lot of people are quite good at driving and it comes naturally and they can do it without any AIDS. Okay? But uh, while we're learning, if we look at the AIDS, we can do anything we want.